More than 200 paramedics in isolation. That, that's, a, that's quite a big figure. What sort of impact would that have? Oh, look, to have 200 of our staff in isolation at the moment, and especially just from one region of Sydney, um, is absolutely devastating to our workforce. I mean, um, as a union, we've been uh, lobbying the government for increased staff numbers for years. Um, and now that this crisis is finally here, we're actually seeing uh, resourcing in the southwestern area of Sydney tomorrow, barely reaching 50% of what we would normally be able to put out on road. So for, for the staff in that area and for those communities, that's, that's absolutely devastating news. This is an area that is going through an outbreak and it is the hotspot and you've got first responders in, in isolation now that can't respond to critical cases. Are lives at risk? Uh, look... <sighs> We're hoping that people are hearing the messages to stay at home, so we have a, a few less cases uh, that we need to respond to. But but certainly, when you have that many paramedics off road, there is an increased uh, risk to the public. Um, but the other risk, on the other hand, is that uh, those extra resources will have to be backfilled from other areas of metropolitan Sydney. So we then have the added risk of having all these extra crews be brought from from my region, which is the St George Sutherland Shire um, and the city, the northern beaches, the west of Sydney, they're all going to have to come in and potentially respond to those emergencies in that area. And if there's an exposure, then they'll then be taking that exposure risk back to their own stations that could be completely um, outside of that, that real hot zone that we're seeing in, in southwestern Sydney at the moment. Do paramedics in Sydney have enough protection? Uh, I'm hearing from other paramedics who are contacting me that there's problems still around the correct PPE gear. Uh, and mm. also, you know, they're, they're feeling like expendable whipping dogs at the moment. What's your thoughts on that? Look, there's certainly a lot of anger out there amongst the paramedic workforce around PPE. Um, my understanding is that um, New South Wales Health has done a lot to bolster those supplies um, for our metropolitan staff. Um, the biggest problem that we have, though, is regionally outside of uh, metropolitan Sydney, is that uh, less than 10% of our workforce in regional New South Wales, that's outside the metropolitan bubble, have been fit tested for the appropriate levels of PPE. I mean, we've already seen today with the removalists that have gone on their, what seems like an epic journey through regional New South Wales whilst positive, um, the, the huge risk of spreading this disease into the regions and our workforce have literally zero protection when it comes to this virus. And if they are then exposed, they're then on a 14-day isolation where these small communities might only have half a dozen paramedics um, supporting them. So we're going to have entire regions, entire towns, potentially without their, their local paramedics there to cover those emergencies. Um, and because there's no fat in the system, there's no extra workforce that can be drawn on um, to help backfill those positions. It's, it's really concerning and something that we've been trying to lobby the government for for years now. We've seen quite a few positive cases in frontline healthcare workers, in hospitals in Sydney, now paramedics testing positive. This is more than what we had in the previous outbreaks uh, mm -hmm. with frontline healthcare workers getting affected in this particular outbreak. Are you confident these restrictions are enough? Look, uh, this is an unprecedented crisis that, um, that the government is facing. Um, we're hoping that people really do heed the message because at the moment, New South Wales Ambulance is operating on a knife edge. We already, prior to this outbreak amongst our workforce, were barely able to um, respond and hit our KPIs as far as response times. We've got the worst response times that New South Wales Ambulance has ever recorded, and they're the worst in the country. So we're really heeding uh, or begging the public to really heed those calls, to stay at home and really only call triple zero if it is an absolute emergency. Well, Brett Simpson from the Australian Paramedics Association, really appreciate your time uh, joining us on Weekend Live and, and good luck for the rest of the lockdown and, and for the rest of this outbreak. I hope it goes OK. Thank you so much. Thanks. A group of international ambassadors